And Cody has the latest news in today's Slap You With Science. This is how, this is how much time I had off. I forgot to put my little jacket on. What was I thinking? Look, I just look stupid. Oh, this is the way I always look. Uh, an adult insect, insect wing is basically dead. Most of it's dried up like a dead leaf. So what are those little pipes doing in the dried parts of the dragonfly wings? Well, apparently the veins have their own inner life support system, which includes breathing tubes, nerves, and stuff like that. The researchers thought the rest of the insect wing would, be, would no longer be needed if an oxygen had been a person's toenail clipping. Uh, this is new data that is now causing some scientists to rethink this, which suggests the tubes have an unusual breathing system, making it the first of its kind. How weird is that? You've been slapped with science. A uh, new kind of hotel is opening uh, for business around the world, and its guests are wild bees. These hotels are going up in rural farmlands and suburban backyards, even on city rooftops. Unfortunately, wild bee species have lost most of their natural habitat, which are destroyed as people build around cities and suburbs. Bee hotels address one problem caused by the loss of the habitat. They give bees a place to nest so they can continue to contribute to the world of plant reproduction. Keep our bees safe so they don't check out early. <laughs> That's a good one. You've been slow. Science. Efforts to find alien life involve looking or listening to it and never broadcasting where our, our whereabouts are for a good reason. But what if our planet is broadcasting our location by orbiting the sun? And if aliens are anything like humans, they'll want to investigate human life too. Well, two astronomers from Columbia University have a solution to that scenario. Covering our tracks using lasers. The laser cloak <laughs> could be as simple as firing a 30 milliwatt laser for about 10 hours per year. That might just be pure paranoia, but it's certainly worth a shot, I guess, you know, if the aliens don't show up. There you go. You've been slapped with science. NASA has always been a fan of you and your ideas, often relying on crowdsourcing for thoughts about fun, fun projects. Now comes word that they're accepting ideas and designing a radiation shield for potential deep space flights. The new project is one of three challenges currently active on a site that NASA is running with Freelancer.com to crowdsource solutions for various needs. This is a project NASA has been working on for a long time, so it makes sense that they need your help. Because it is a big problem. Everybody thinks we're just going to go to Mars. Guess what? In between here and Mars, a lot of radiation. And you're uh -huh. out there for a while. You've been slapped with science. Yes. You know what we need? What? The science to make this camera closer. Look how far away it was. That's why I couldn't read it. There you yeah. go, Danby. Back to you. That is the worst. That's the worst. These deli